folks, welcome to Motoring Home. So you want to put a bed in a van. Option number one, you build a bed in the back of your van. You can store stuff underneath it, but it causes problems getting from front to back. Option number two, you save a bit of space and you make a pull-out sofa bed, like the one I'm sat on at the moment. But this is my guest bed. So where's my bed? Option number three. Mm. <laughs> A oh, damn! Now that's cool, right? So I've got a small double in the ceiling which comes down onto the brackets. And I've got myself a pull-out guest bed, which is also a small double with a chopped up IKEA memory foam mattress. So uh, myself and my guests can sleep very comfortably at night. So here's uh, how I did it. Check it out, there he is, the bad boy. Ashley Dangerfield, hey. looking strong in his high vis. Right, today we're gonna go mount the uh, the bed frame brackets into the into the van. So I've stripped out what we need to. We got our metal plate here, heavy duty brackets I've shown you before, box of bolts. So Ash is gonna weld. Um, we got bolts, and uh, we're putting them behind a panel in the van, uh, one of the frameworks. So it needs like a washer on there, but we've cut the washers down halfway so we can slide them by back but when they start to spin they're 50 mil by 30 mil so it'll catch and we can have something we've got some traction then but we need to uh weld some some bits together the we need to weld the nut to the washer so that we can do it properly saw there was a successful first bracket going in or what looked like a successful first bracket going in we did actually take it back off and redo it um, the process was a washer plate a 50 mil by 50 mil cut down to 30 by 50 that then had a bolt uh, sorry a nut welded to it we slid those down the back into the framework of the van we then bolted four mil steel plate, which you saw into the structure of the van using M16 bolts, so really strong bolts. We packed out some spacers um, in the middle and a little bit of box section at the bottom so that it was a 90 degrees, 90 degrees to the floor because the van's got a slight curve to it. So then we got these flat plates. We then bolted the bracket to the plate. Um, that, was done, that was number one. We shut the camera down because it was just annoying getting in the way because we wanted to get this job finished. Three whole days of work to get four brackets done. 
that's how complex this thing was uh, with the kit that we had. But we got it done, the bottom brackets are now in place. So the next bit you're gonna see is me doing the top plates and brackets for when the bed is up in the ceiling and not in use. Okay, here we go. She wrote this this song about me. Yeah. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure, like 98%. Of course, so the uh, support plates are all bolted and tightened up and solid. Uh, so now we've got to try and find the height I want for the bed brackets. And the way I'm going to do that is. Obviously I've got ceiling to go in um, and that will be pinned straight to this, uh, you can't see it, sorry, straight to these beams. So there's going to be about, it's going to be reclaimed pallet wood, so I would say two to two and a half centimetres down from that. I then want to be able to get at least 15 centimetres of mattress on top, hopefully 20. And then depending on what I make the bed out of, I might need space for possibly width ways two by four, so another four inches, and then the brackets. And hopefully that all works out to being above my head height because I don't want to have to um, be like hunched over the whole time. So let's pretend I'm six foot and not, not just shy and uh, we'll go for that. out of space on my SD cards at that point in filming so you didn't see any more but how about we take a look now at how the top and bottom brackets actually work here we have one of the bottom brackets I'm just going to show you how it works so if you put it up here you see that little catch there as you go up sits in place boom boom as a pair these are supposed to be able to hold 500 kilograms of course I have four now that's probably when the weight is spread completely across it, the bed comes to about here. So it would be slightly less, but so far they've been brilliant and sturdy. And then if you want to take it back down, you just lift that and place it down, and then you can put the sofa cushions back. Now if we take a look up top, so here, with this one to take it down, there's a little push clip here. Let's see if I can't do that one right now. Push. And then it comes down to different settings. So there's one there. And if you push that back in, you can take it all the way down and then back up. Okay, so the bed. Uh, I did it again. I didn't plug the mic into the camera properly, so you've got messed up sound. What I'm saying here is I've got some bits to go onto the bed frame to attach it to the pulley system. So I'm gonna show you those bits. Uh, the bed there, which I don't explain, is 25 mil thick ply. So it has absolutely no flex in it. And especially when my weight is spread out through the mattress, there'll be no sag in the bed. The sides are made from 18 mil thick hardwood ply as well. And it's all fixed together using uh, the bits you see on the inside. So that's that, um, hopefully, the rest of the sound is good. Who knows? I'm not good at my job. All right, so I put the brackets onto the bed. I put the hooks and pulleys up in the ceiling and I put the, whatever they're called, things no idea those things boat hooks or whatever you call them uh, to secure the rope to at the back so in theory and it's not perfect because the pulley is going to be very close to the to the bed when it's up there but 
In theory, I should be able to slide this onto the lower brackets now, attach the cord, which can hold hundreds and hundreds of kilos, which is great, pass it through the pulley and over to the rope and be able to pull it up. Now, I think this is going to be too heavy and I may have to do a new system where I've got more than one pulley. Um, but I'm going to give it a go now because then I know what I need to get uh, to fix the issue. folks let me show you the setup for the bed uh, the first one failed it was too heavy for the pulley system because originally I had two um, a double pulley up there and on the other side to just lift the bed but now um, I've got two single pullers each side to attach to two different points on the bed on each side and they're gonna go over to these double pullers which are originally over on the sides so now I'm not just pulling off one, I'm pulling off two. Now, it might not be the complete solution. I may even have to go back to a set of pulleys on the bed before, but um, hopefully this will work. And I've got these guys here to tie off to. Um, and I have a crank handle, like a manual winch if I need one. So let's Still heavy, but better. Pulling the whole roof of the van down though. Oh, I don't like it. So thanks to my mate Pewee, uh, we are now ready to get the bed covered with the fabric I've got, so it would be a false ceiling. Uh, Pewee, or Adam, um... Oh, that's noisy. It's a helicopter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not like the quality of this stuff's that good anyway, is it? Um, so yeah, Adam's helped me out with the router. We've got the bracket mounts there. Uh, sorted today we've also cut in some breathing holes for the mattress so uh, it doesn't get like damp and hold moisture or anything like that and cause rotting so that's where we're at let's get it covered so I'm gonna use this uh, spray adhesive mighty contact spray adhesive extreme initial bond high heat resistance non staining so this is my nemesis got it from screw fix uh, and my trusty Stanley knife and blades
heads in, I'm just going to tie it back onto the, the, uh, the pulley system and we'll get it lifted and we're done. And that, my friends, is that. That's how my ceiling to mid-level bed works. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions specifically about how everything works, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I want to say a big thanks to my cousin Ashley and my friend Adam for the help on this. This is the only thing in the entire van which required outside help. Um, so, like, I appreciate it, guys. I couldn't have got it done without you. Um, like and subscribe and I will see you next time on Motoring Home.